so grim. <laughs> but it's true, and I know everyone knows exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, I'm giving this advice, and I definitely don't do that myself. I, every single time I do my braids, I'm like, I wish I did this the day before. Hi everyone, thank you for clicking on this video. This is gonna be all about knotless braids versus normal braids. These are knotless braids that I have in now. I did do them myself. <laughs> I have a video showing exactly how I did these on myself and I will link that here. <laughs> so in this video, I'm gonna be comparing the time it takes to install knotless braids versus normal braids, the amount of hair used for both, the maintenance of both styling and the takedown and aftercare for both knotless and normal braids. So it'll be kind of like a comparison and video. Let's go. So the time it takes to install knotless braids versus normal braids. It seems to be the common thing that people think that um, knotless braids take like 10 times longer than normal braids. I actually disagree with that. I think it very much depends on the size of the braids that you have, the speed of your stylist, or the speed of yourself if you do them yourself. I don't think the actual braiding part takes that much longer for normal braids. I think what does take longer for knotless braids though is the hair prep. Because with normal braids, depending on the length, all you do is add one bit of hair at the root and then braid and then you're done. Whereas for knotless braids, you're adding in hair as you go along. So to prep that hair, you have to separate loads of different little sections of hair which can take forever and it's so tedious and so boring and I hate it. Um, so what I would recommend is that you try and do the hair prep, like if you're doing knotless braids, well any braids to be honest, but particularly knotless braids, I would recommend that you do the hair prep the day before so that when you go to braiding, you've got all your sections ready and you can just get to braiding. I mean, I'm giving this advice and I definitely don't do that myself. I, every single time I do my braids, I'm like, I wish I did this the day before. So. Don't be like me, actually take my advice and do your hair prep the day before. It will save you a lot of time. If the time it's gonna take was your de deciding factor between normal braids or knotless braids, I wouldn't say that there's that much of a difference to go for normal braids. I think the increase in time for knotless braids is worth it because I think knotless braids are so much better. So the amount of hair you use between knotless braids and normal braids, you get through so much less braiding hair with knotless braids and I don't actually understand why that is. Um, I thought it would be about the same amount but it's actually so much less. So for braids, uh, maybe like a little bit smaller than this, um, I with normal braids it would take maybe like six packs of hair for this I use less than two packs of hair I don't understand that I don't get how I can use so much less hair like it actually like I actually just don't understand that but anyway you use a lot less hair so the benefit of using less hair obviously your um, braids lay really nice and flat it's not heavy the first day I get normal braids my neck can ache like the first couple days my head feels weighed back um with knotless braids i'm like good to go straight away i don't feel weighed down at all this is so light using less hair also means that your style is cheaper you don't have to buy like loads of packs of hair you only have to buy two um if you're getting knotless braids for the first time i would recommend buying more just in case you want to have too much rather than too little because if you run up hair in the middle of braiding that is not fun um so now i know that i can braid my hair with two packs of hair but i always make sure i have three packs of hair just in case also, when, with the braiding hair with knotless braids, if you wanted to blend two colours together, um, it's easier to do so with knotless braids. Because you add hair as you go along the braid, if you wanted to blend maybe like a dark brown with a blonde or a lighter brown so that it's like kind of highlighted, you could alternate between the colour that you add in. So you can have the dark brown braid a little bit, add in the light brown braid a little bit, add in the dark brown braid a little bit, and then your braid will be nice and highlighted. Whereas for normal braids, because you're only adding in one piece of hair, again, depending on length, um, you have to ble actually blend the two colors together before you install it in your hair, which is a headache. I absolutely hate blending braiding hair. Okay, so maintenance of knotless braids versus normal braids. So I think this depends on the size, but I do think that knotless braids get messier 
faster than normal braids do. Because with knotless braids, it's your real hair at the root and your hair isn't like tucked under um, fake hair, which is kind of keeping it in place. The roots of knotless braids can get a little bit fuzzy and a little bit messy faster than normal braids do. Other than that, in terms of everything else, there's not really much difference in terms of how quick they get messy. My ends do start to poke out the end of braids after like a week or so, but there's not really a difference between knotless braids and normal braids for that. That is going to happen regardless. So for um, normal braids, I haven't had normal braids in so, so long, so I haven't actually tried this on normal braids, but for my knotless braids, to keep them tidy, what I do is go around with edge control around the edges and kind of slick that down. Um, and then I use a mousse all over my roots and then tie it down until it dries. Um, I won't do that straight away, like I don't do that every day. Um, so I'll have my braids installed and then after about a week when they start to get a little bit messy, that will be the first time that I put mousse all over my hair. And then after that week of doing nothing, I add the mousse and edge control maybe like every other day for another week or two. Um, and then I take my braids down and wash my hair. Um, so for both um, knotless braids and normal braids to sleep, I have a massive bonnet that covers my braids. If I don't use a bonnet, then what I will do is use as tie a satin scarf around the edges and the roots and then sleep on a satin pillowcase so that the rest of the braids stay nice and tidy. I will have links for all of the products like the edge controls, the mousses, the bonnets and the pillowcases. I'll have links to all of that in the description box below. Okay, so styling between knotless braids and normal braids. Styling is so much easier and so much better on knotless braids. Oh my God. I don't think I'm ever gonna go back to normal braids, honestly, because knotless braids are so much better for styling. Because um, it's your real hair at the root, there's so much more movement, so much freedom, no tension, so you can pretty much do any style that you want. And you can style your hair straight after having the braids installed. With normal braids, you have to wait at least like three days before you can pull the braids back or put them up into a bun or something. Because it's tight at the root, um, and the braids are kind of braided in one direction. If you try and flip them over, oh my God, it's so painful. It pulls on your edges. Your edges are gonna get thin. Like you just don't wanna do that. <laughs> but with normal braids, I'm uh, sorry, but with knotless braids, um, straight after styling, because it's just your real hair, you can literally just be like whoop, whoop. You can put it straight up into a bun, straight up into a ponytail. You can do whatever you wanna do with the braids straight after having them installed, which for me is a massive plus. Also, because knotless braids are so much lighter than normal braids because you've used less hair, because you've used less hair, I feel like you can do more styles, like there's more freedom for the styles that you can do. I do find that with normal braids, when I did ponytails or like that big top knot bun, I find that it's quite heavy and if you tilt your head, it feels like you're gonna topple over because the weight comes with you. Um, but with knotless braids, because they're so light, the styles are more comfortable, I don't feel the weight, so it doesn't ache my neck or anything like that. So styling, more freedom, less pain, less weight, less neck ache, just everything about knotless braids is better when it comes to styling. Take down and aftercare for knotless braids versus normal braids. I think, I personally think that the takedown for knotless braids is easier and quicker than normal braids. I don't really know why again, but I just feel like I get less tangles, less hair loss. Um, when you have normal braids, because of the, because the hair is kind of wrapped around the root of your normal hair, you get loads of buildup and gunk under the braiding hair and it is disgusting when you take it down. That sounds so gross. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true and I know everyone knows exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so when you take down the normal braids, when you get to the root, you kind of have to like scratch away all the build up and it's kind of nasty. But with knotless braids, you don't have that at all. You may still get like a little bit of build up on your scalp and stuff, but it's not all gathered underneath the braid. Um, yeah. So that's definitely a plus. In terms of like after I take down my hair and how my hair actually feels, there's no difference between normal braids and knotless braids. The length of my hair, it feels the same in terms of moisture and the ends of my hair. I feel like I've touched my braids way too much in this video. Sorry if that was super annoying. <laughs> um, I think I've covered everything. 
I think I've covered all the main points. Um, if there's anything else that you would like me to talk about, leave a question in the comments box below and I will definitely get back to you. Um, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.